The relationship between the U.S. and Iran has gone downhill. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has warned the U.S. that war with Iran would be the mother of all wars. According to Iran's state-run news agency, IRNA, Rouhani said in Tehran, Americans must understand that war with Iran is the mother of all wars and peace with Iran is the mother of all peace. The Iranian leader also had a message for U.S. President Trump, do not play with the lion's tail because you will regret it eternally. President Trump has tweeted in all caps to Iranian President Rouhani, never ever threaten the United States again or you will suffer consequences the likes of which few throughout history have ever suffered before. We are no longer a country that will stand for your demented words of violence and death. Be cautious. In this video, Defense Updates looks at five weapons of the U.S. that Iran should fear. Let's get started. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers are the first class of American destroyer built around the Aegis combat system and the SPY-1D multifunction passive electronically scanned array radar. These are considered to be one of the most potent destroyers in the world. Arleigh Burke vessels displace around 9,000 tons and have a length of 505 feet or 154 meters. The U.S. has 65 of these in active service. The Arleigh Burke design incorporates stealth technologies which makes the ship more difficult to detect, in particular by anti-ship missiles. These warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers and can perform the following roles. 1. Air Defense AD, role with their powerful Aegis radar and surface-to-air missiles like SM-2 and SM-3. 2. Anti-submarine warfare ASW, with towed sonar, anti-submarine rockets and ASW helicopter. 3. Anti-surface warfare ASUW with their harpoon missile and strategic land strike role with the Tomahawk missiles. Because multi million capabilities, Arleigh Burke class warship will be a big menace for Iran. Iran's only destroyer, a Persian Gulf class destroyer, is currently under construction. It does have a few frigates like 1500 tons Alvin class, but those possess very less firepower to be a real threat. The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation, single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force. America has 183 of these. F-22 Raptor is considered to be the most deadly operational fighter aircraft, having combined super cruise, super maneuverability, stealth and sensor fusion in a single weapons platform. Its technology is so advanced that F-22 cannot be exported under American federal law. The Raptor has three internal weapons bays, a large bay on the bottom of the fuselage and two smaller bays on the sides. These bays can accommodate air-to-air -air as well as air-to-ground attack missiles as well as smart bombs. The best fighters Iran can pit against the Raptor are MiG-29 and Sukhoi Su-24. Though these are decent fighters, they are no match for Raptor. Also, the quantity is very limited. Iran has 20 MiG-29 and 23 Su-24. With F-22 Raptor, U.S. will be able to gain air superiority fairly quickly. The Nimitz-class supercarriers are a class of 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers in service with the United States Navy. Nimitz-class displaces about 100,000 tons and spans 333 meters long. It's capable of carrying more than 60 fighter jets. The Nimitz strike fighters are primarily F-18 Hornets and F-18 Super Hornets. These are twin-engine carrier-capable 4-plus generation multi-role fighter aircraft designed for land and air attacks. Being nuclear-powered, Nimitz class has unlimited range and hence is capable of projecting power far beyond U.S. coastlines. With Nimitz class, U.S. will be able to bring the fight to Iran from the sea. Iran doesn't have anything close to the capability of Nimitz class and will find it very difficult to resist an onslaught from one of these massive carriers. In case of eventualities, the U.S. may decide to bring Minuteman 3 on the table. Minuteman series of missiles is the only land-based ICBM in the United States arsenal. For the knowledge of viewers, the Minuteman 3 was the world's first MIRV intercontinental ballistic missile with the ability to carry up to three warheads. It can be tipped with W-78 or W-87 warhead. 
the W78 has a publicly announced yield of around 350 kilotons and W87 has a yield of 475 kilotons of TNT. This makes the missile massively powerful. The viewer may note that Hiroshima's little boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons and Nagasaki's fat man bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. It has an approximate range of 13,000 kilometers, that's 8,100 miles, and a speed of more than Mach 23. Iran has Ahmad and Ghadar 110 missile, both of them having a range of about 2,000 kilometers, but these do not have nuclear warhead, and it's still a long way before Iran can deploy a nuclear tipped missile operationally. The Ohio class is a class of nuclear powered submarines that's considered to be one of the most lethal platforms in the world. The US Navy has 18 Ohio class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBN, and 4 that were later converted to guided missile submarines SSGN. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total US active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. The Ohio class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the US Navy, having a displacement of 16,764 tons. It has a range of 11,000 kilometers and carries 24 Trident submarine launched ballistic missiles. Each of these missiles has 12 MIRV multiple independent reentry vehicle nuclear warheads, and each of these warheads has explosive power equivalent of 300 to 475 kilotons of TNT. This lethal destructive power makes Ohio class ballistic missile submarines the most potent asset in US forces. Iran's best submarines are the 2325 tons Russian Kilo class diesel electric submarines and it has three of these. The submarines do not have the range to reach the US homeland nor are they technically capable to defend against an Ohio class submarine. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.